it starts with the imagination where you have no boundaries. You can yeah, think whatever you like, but it started out with this interest in electronics, electronic components, how that work together. And I had these uh, small uh, boards where you could fit in uh, small transistors and diodes and resistors. And I made small circuits out of it, just out of curiosity, how would that work? Did it was, it was lighting an LED or it was uh, giving a sound. So it was not very uh, practical or interesting. But for me uh, to learn how these things worked, it was very fascinating. Play is very important for inventing. Playing uh, also uh, is part of uh, broadening your knowledge because you have to learn. You, you're playing, but while you're playing, you learn. To be honest, I did not have any idea of what, uh, how big Bluetooth could become. We had the name Bluetooth. My suggestion was to call it piccolo, uh, like a music instrument that gets everybody uh, in this piconet, as we call it, within Bluetooth, uh, connected with each other and uh, stay in synchrony and uh, stay in harmony with each other. If you look at music and the melody and harmony, it touches something inside you. Because if you have a certain uh, uh, flow in the music, and actually uh, it's the same kind of feeling if you build something or invent something and everything fits together. To uh, invent and be very focused on a certain subject, uh, you must find a restful environment to be creative. So I try to have a balance between my personal life where I have very little technology uh, and my professional life which is full of technology. To go back to basics is very appealing to me. So uh, if I'm going on vacation, uh, the nice thing I could do is just take my tent and put it somewhere and just enjoy nature and walk and do things uh, where there is no technology at all. Which sounds maybe very strange, but <laughs> that's the way I, as I uh, enjoy my life. <laughs>